guys, welcome to episode 75 of The Land. My name is Ian. I'm Rob. I'm Derek. Um, I'm Derek. <laughs> first up, we have a lot to talk about. Um, so we'll just get into it. UFC Fight Night, Holloway versus Allen. We'll talk about, um, let's talk about Roy Val first. What an explosive man. Um, he first round last week, King called it. He said first round knockout. That's how he sees it. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's always cool to listen back to our old podcast to see whose predictions is right. But calling the first round is tough. Underdog, um, crazy. <laughs> and then I like how he said that he he doesn't want to fight on prelims anymore. He's a main card fighter, and I think that's how it should be, man. That's what I said, man. You sh- that should have been on the main card. Yeah, like, exactly. Crazy. Yeah, especially, especially with that card. I understand, like, coming off an injury, maybe, like, on a bigger card, putting him on the prelims, but he, mm-hmm. he should have a main card spot on that one. For, for a fight night? Like, yeah. Um, Do you guys think he should fight one more and then take a title fight, or what do you guys think for Roy Val? I think you give them the next shot. Is there a fight lined up for Moreno right now? Yeah. It's Pantoja. Oh, Pantoja, that's right. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> yeah. Depends on how that fight goes. We could get a, another damn trilogy. You never know. <laughs> and then we'll talk. We'll just go straight to. Um, oh, let's talk about Edson real quick. Give him his flowers because uh, a good amount of us. Um, ruled him out, you know, a little bit older. That's just how it is. And he gets the first round knockout, man. Another knee to the to the chin. God damn! And Billy just face planted, dude. That was a gnarly knockout. <laughs> yeah, I was coming in flashy, bro. Uh, yeah, dude. Hey, how'd you feel about Aljo's uh, shout out to KC, man? Oh yeah, Aljo. Aljo. Algio. Oh, Algio. Oh, my God. <laughs> Algio, isn't he uh, from, like, a Philly area? From Philly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said that. Whatever. Bro. I don't even know. Who, who, you know what I mean? Half, I, I guarantee you 99% of that crowd didn't even know who Algio was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one so fresh for all the Philly fans, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been keeping that in his heart, bro. He asked for it. He's like, please put me on UFC Kansas City, please. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you guys think Dana overreacted with Guida? No. What happened? Doing the <laughs> shout out to his mom. Oh, mm-mm. my thing is like I I think he kind of like targeted Guida, but like all the didn't somebody else fake retire? Who else fake retired? Um, it was Algio. Oh yeah, Algio. Yeah. Like I think he just should have made a statement, like in general, like. Stop doing that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's, especially on a night where two guys, two like legit like veterans retired. Oh, like, yeah. don't ruin the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait. So, what did Guida say? Well, he had his gloves off, so everyone thought he was going to retire. Wow. And, uh, yeah, he just did the birthday shout out, and I guess Dana got super mad. So, uh, I mean, a lot of people take their gloves off. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it was any. I mean, sure, I guess since Guida's older. You can see it, but that was a that was a special fight. That uh, retirement fight, really good too. It was like a classic, like um, what's the guy's name? Tank Abbott, like a brawl fight. It mm-hmm. felt like, yeah, like Brian Stan versus Wanderlei Silva. That was like my favorite, like brawl type. Just fucking duke it out, you know. Mm-hmm. But that was a good one. Um, Max Holloway versus Arnold Allen. Max Holloway has doubted or has proven all the doubters again that he is here to stay. Um, he can still take a punch uh, and he is just levels ahead of a lot of other other featherweights. Mm, and I was, um, I'm going to be honest, like when it came to the third round, I would give Arnold the second round for sure. But when the third round came around, like I, I was doubting Arnold. I was like, oh, he looks tired, bro. This is going to be Max's rounds, but I was I was wrong. 
that dude kept that power throughout the entire fight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't know how stock really went down at all. Like he fought Max Holloway, like didn't do terribly. You know what I mean? Like plenty of other guys we had like higher expectations for have done worse. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I thought he looked good. It's just yeah. Bad. He's just too much, bro. He is too much. For yeah, everybody like, that's not bull, he's just too much. I mean, if, <laughs> even if you do get through Max, you still have to get to Volk's level, dude. It's so yeah. crazy. That's so, so scary, man, thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Max is here, and then Volk is, like, way up yeah. there, man. Well, yeah. You can't, I don't know. And it's not like they're the same type of fighter, stylistically. They're really yeah. different, so it's like... I trained my ass off for, for a fighter like Max. Now I have to train completely different for a fighter like Volk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, I mean, the level changes. Max was going head body. He was moving so nicely. He was pretty defensive as well. Um, but all the respect to Allen, he never felt like he was defeated. Um, and he hit him really good. I... Honestly, I think he hit him with the harder shots. Max was able to get the combos in, of course, but every time Alan co connected, I was like, oh, shit. Uh-oh. What are we about to see from Max? So, yeah, even, yeah. even though the, like, really hard shots that, like, and Alan landed, like, you feel like anybody else, like, it would put him out, but yeah, Max no. flows into his combination. Max will literally get hit with a full power shot and just flow into his combination. Mm -hmm. I did that like off of every hard shot that Alan threw? It's crazy, and you don't even realize throughout the fight how many, how many strikes Max has landed that round. And then you look at the the entire fight, you're like, Jesus, dude, it didn't even seem like he threw that much. But it, right. it's every fight too, dude. Yeah, yeah. And um, that ending was crazy, man. The way Arnold set up that elbow, that was a clean elbow. You could yeah. tell that hurt Max. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Max dropped him. I still. I would give Allen the fifth round too. Mm, really? Yeah. They you know, didn't get that last one to knock down, huh? No, I don't think so. Because he got right back up. Mm. And he did pick up the volume that fifth round. He knew he he was losing the fight. But, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I'll give him the second and the fifth round. Okay. What was it like 49 46s? Uh, I believe so. Something like that. Um, so. What do you see with Max? I know he called out the Korean zombie. That seems more of just like a, an exciting, like fun match. Like it seems like he's he's going the route of like what Wonder Boy did, taking the Holland fight, or um, just taking fun fights rather than a step up in competition. Do you think that's the the best move, or do you want to see him try again for the belt? Uh, there's just not a ton of fights to be made right now. Like, if, if I was a, a guy in, like, the top 10, like, at featherweight, like, man, what a mountain to climb. Like, we were, you're just saying about, like, having to beat Max and then having to fight Bulk, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but his frame is kind of weird for him to move up to 55, you know what I mean, still? Yeah, I agree. Maybe if, like, he put a little muscle on, but then is it, like, too late in his career for him to, mm -hmm. for him to change his entire frame to move up to 55, you know? Yeah, I agree. Um, so I don't know who is uh, what fight just got booked between Emmett and who? Um, I think it's Emmett and Taporia. Emmett and Taporia. Yeah, I would. Uh, if Taporia beats Emmett, I would like to see uh, Holloway and Taporia. Spooky. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I mean, yeah, I agree. The uh, the Korean zombie fight. It's just a fun fight. Mm -hmm. Um. I do think Max beats him. I think it's a fun fight either way. But the thing is, like, if you don't give Max another title fight against Volk, he's just gonna keep killing off all these prospects, yeah. dude. Yeah, he's just a wall, bro. <clears throat> um, yeah, I agree with you guys. I mean, um, I don't like the move up to one fifty five, and we always like to say that, like, you know, he's getting older, but he's only thirty one. But when you take it just to the face, you're and getting you a older. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, MMA wise, you're older. But um, yeah, I guess I, I really wouldn't mind him taking the fun fights. 
it only makes sense for Volk or for Max and Volk. What is this for to happen if sure. I don't know? Max just goes on an actual tear of like knocking out people, like putting a stamp on every single fight that he gets in to 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 provide a case to fight Volk. But I don't know. It's I don't. I'm not interested in Volk versus Max right now. Based yeah. off of that performance, um, what about Arnold Allen? I was thinking maybe um, a fight with Giga Chikadze since he hasn't had a fight in a, in a long time. Um, maybe the winner of Taporia versus uh, Emmett. I mean, Arnold Allen still looked promising regardless. Ooh, or Ortega. Uh, I see. There's a lot of sleepers. There's a lot <laughs> yeah. of you haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Like, last time we seen Giga was against Cater. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a spooky fight. Too. Yeah. I think a lot of people like think uh of because of Giga's last fight against Cater, like he kind of lost like some of the the spookiness surrounding him. But don't yeah. sleep on it. Yeah. Oh, no. Sleep on it. No, no. I think that would be a, a fun fight for uh for Alan. That'd be a fun Yeah, fight. I like I like Alan and Giga, especially for a comeback fight for Giga. Yeah. Um yeah, I think that's a competitive match, bro. Especially standing up. I don't know, man. That's Arnold just put up with Max's striking, but Giga has like just a unique style of striking, bro. Yeah, that'd be a fun one. And I like Arnold Allen. I like how just nice he is. You know, he's genuinely nice. Mm. He's a quiet little Englishman. Yeah, I remember it was like the, the fourth round going into the fifth. He was in the corner. And Arnold Allen was like, do we have to go into World War Three?" <laughs> Man. Um, just nice also, one. I don't want to bring up, I don't want to bring up old shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But how nice would it be, bro? All those matchups, if you threw Zabit in there, bro. A, exactly, man. Uh, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> right. I miss yeah. it. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, this Saturday we got Pavlovich versus Blades. It was just announced that the Song Yudong fight is now the main event for the following week. So a little bit of a uh, a lackluster card, I would say. Um, so we'll just talk about the main event. Sergey Pavlovich, seventeen and one, is going against Curtis Blade, seventeen and three. Um, how do you guys see this fight going? He will go last. I mean, we we talked about him in the past, you know, in the podcast. Like it's Sergey's, it's Sergey's time, bro. I don't think it's going to be easy to get through Curtis Blades. I'm not downing Curtis Blades at all, but um, I think Sergey is a more durable fighter, and I think, I think he can get the knockout this fight. What round? (laughs) First round. Damn. Yeah. One first round. I agree. Um, I just like the the presence that Sergey Pavlovich brings. Um, he's a scary man to stand in front of. Um, hats off to Curtis Blades. He's great. He's a fantastic wrestler, but um, he's been caught a lot by these strikers like uh, Nganu. <laughs> Everybody gets caught by Nganu. Derek Lewis. Um, what was the other one? Was it gone or? Maybe Overeem, one of those, but um, I got Sergey Pavlovich first round knockout. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I got Blades, bro. I got Blades by decision. I think okay. um, Sergey's good. Like he, he's he's on the come up. Um, and two, uh, like you said, like Blades chin, like has been through the ringer. Um, but the, these guys he's getting knocked out by are like world class strikers. You know what I mean? Like w- with heavy hands. Some of the <laughs> heavy. Punchers in the head. He's, he's yeah. been fighting like some of the hardest punchers like in the, ever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, Sergey's loss was to Overeem. Uh, mm. Was it the first round, second round TKO? Um, this was back in 2018, it was a first round knockout. 
or TK? Um, I went back and, and rewatched that fight, and uh, it wasn't even and to it wasn't even really like a you would expect like a one punch knockout, you know? Like Overeem wrestled him, grappled him, got him to the ground, and put the ground and pound on him. And that's what Blades does every fight. Like you know he's gonna do it, and it's yeah. if Sergey can handle that from Overeem, it makes me nervous about how he's gonna handle Blades. Mm. And also, Curtis Blades was Overeem's main training partner for that uh, for that fight camp. So, Ooh, oh, we'll, uh, okay. we'll see. We'll see. A little bit of research from King's side. We'll go, uh, yeah, Blades by decision. Blades by decision. <laughs> Blades by decision. All right. Um, and then, should this be the? Are you laughing, <laughs> Rob? <laughs> Someone's getting knocked the fuck out. That's just gonna <laughs> um, should the fight should the winner be the the next man up for the title? If it's Pavlovich, yes. Yeah, I, I would I would say so. <laughs> I mean, who else are you gonna have? You don't we don't have Francis anymore. Uh yeah. Tui's um, losing. Gone just lost, you know. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Let's get someone new in there. I, I like that. Yeah. Um I just think yeah, that Blades versus John is like such an that's such an easy fight for John to me. Like mm-hmm. I, I feel like Blades is so one dimensional. John handles those guys so well. Like yeah. it, it, it'd be such an easy fight for him. But um, Sergey is probably the more interesting fight. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, but John did say that. The fight with Stipe is probably his retirement fight if it's an MSG. So, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed in that because I do want to see it one or two more fights after that Stipe fight. But he Bro, does what I, he wants to do. I feel like I've seen that coming. Like I, I feel like that's what he wanted was to win the the heavyweight belt. Probably not defend it that many times. And if I had to bet money on it. I would say Nganu comes back to the UFC. Probably after one, maybe two boxing fights, comes back to the UFC. Yeah, Even though Dan true. said he'll never be back in the UFC. He exactly, said that right? a ton of times, but we'll see. Never say never, bro. Yeah. That's what Dana White says. <laughs> um. All right. Also this weekend, we got a boxing super fight. Gervonta Tank Davis versus King Ryan Garcia. I am very, I'm so excited for this one. Um, I don't know if you guys saw Kaisenat was with uh, Gervonta Davis. They're streaming and they uh, did a little FaceTime call with, with uh, Garcia and they bet the whole purse. And to me, Davis was a little bit thrown off. Maybe he wasn't expecting that, the the confidence from, from Garcia, but they're both extremely confident going into this fight. There is no yeah, no nervousness. You know? <clears throat> One thing See, I man, like, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. One thing uh, I like from uh, from Ryan <laughs> is like uh, I feel like he waited the I just still think he's gonna lose, but I think he waited the appropriate amount of time uh, to take the fight. I think he waited until he was ready. He didn't let people get into his head about um you know, take it, take it, take it now. Uh, but he, I don't think it's like a false bravado he's putting up at all. I really think that he thinks that he can knock out Tank. So, um, yeah. But you're going Tank. What do you think? Decision, knockout? I'm going to say uh, Tank, KO, eight or nine. Um, yeah, i will say Tank, Tank, KO, eight or nine. Um, coked up Oscar is going to pick up Brian's dead body out of the ring and next time we see him he'll be uh, working at an Auntie Anne's in the mall So, <laughs> um, I was going to say man whenever guys do that that makes me think like god damn it that was, this is probably rigged bro if they want to bet their whole purse mm. <clears throat> stop doing that but anyways <laughs> I know there's a lot of trash talk from Tank about the hook that's his only thing but if you do get caught by that that, that could mean lights out for you mm. To be honest, but um, to counter that though, like the way Ryan fights, especially when he throws that hook, he tends to keep his chin really high, dude. Mm-hmm. And that's how he got caught by Luke Campbell. And if you look, 
if you look what happened with uh with Tank and Roly, like Tank loves to capitalize on guys like that. Yeah. And yes, Ryan Garcia did get dropped by Luke, but it's different when Tank. When Tank has you hurt, he's gonna make sure you stay hurt. Yeah. So I think, yes, in the later rounds, I think Tank is gonna lure and like force Garcia to make a mistake. That's when when he'll uh get his knockout. Yeah. One more thing, I feel like like at the what you said, like, I feel like, especially the last few years, they've developed so different as fighters. Like, Tank has taken fights where um, fought guys in areas that he's weaker in, so that way he could develop himself as a boxer. You know, he was known as just like a knockout puncher for a long time. Yeah. But I feel like uh, his defense has really showed, his movement has really showed in the last few fights. Where, like, Ryan almost, like, fights, like, and again, like, he... He's an undefeated professional boxer, you know? I'm just uh, some guy, you know what I mean? But he almost fights like a video game character where, like, uh, he waits and waits and, like, throws that hook like it's his special move and hopes that it lands, you know what I mean? He has to wait till his bar fills up a little bit, his special yeah. bar. Yeah, <laughs> and then if it doesn't hit that first time, he just keeps spamming it, spamming it, and hoping uh-huh. it hits, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I think that's how the fight's going to go. Yeah, in terms of opponents, it's not exactly the same as what Davis has fought, huh? Yeah. Where Garcia is kind of, they're fluffing him up a little bit to have that undefeated streak. Um, he's fast. Um, I don't, I'm not too into boxing. I just like the big name fights, but um, I've seen what Gervonta has done in his past few fights. Um, and I'm, I mean, the dude's super patient for, for like his attitude that he has. He's so smart and, um, and he's having fun too. I, I heard in this fight, he's not going to have his family in the crowd because that's how focused he is. He doesn't want any distractions. And I mean, that's the mindset you got to have for these big fights. So he's not overlooking Garcia at all. Um, and I'm not giving any, I'm not throwing shade to Garcia, but I just think that Tank is the more overall balanced fighter. So a later round knockout, probably like, yeah, like the seventh or eighth. Um, one of our longtime viewers and best friends Devin Peart wants us to talk about Nate Diaz versus Jake Jake Paul <laughs> the problem child <laughs> um I don't know man I I could, I could I would bet my entire life savings I know exactly how the fight's going to go I would bet my entire life savings <laughs> it's Nate's going to get cut early, and they stop the fight off a cut. <laughs> I would bet my entire, maybe third round, fourth round, stop the fight because of a cut. I would bet my entire life savings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. It's, I mean, I, I think it's going to be competitive. Uh-huh. I think Jake is going to catch him with, like, one or two shots. That damage is going to, you know, accumulate. Nate's face is made out of paper. And then he's <laughs> just going to start leaking, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still like mind blown that they even made this happen. That both guys signed to this. I don't know. I expected Nate to uh, kind of just lure himself away from all this, but we're here. They're going to fight. And yes, Nate's going to bleed. And I don't know. But what is Jake weighing at in this fight? I don't Two know. Looks easy, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, Nate's his type, so yeah, uh, I agree. And they're gonna stop the fight, dude. Well, <sighs> <You know? laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. Now, is it easy? I mean, I know Nate has like the worst scar tissue above his his eye, but is it easy to bleed with boxing gloves? Yes. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Hey man, especially like. Uh... Like professional, like a lot of people like think like when they throw on like sixteen ounce gloves, you're like, dang, these, there's a lot of padding in these mugs. But you know, what I mean? probably like eight ounce gloves is what they're going to be fighting in. You know, mm-hmm. uh, really thin, really thin material. I think yeah. it's going to be easy. And like I said, Jake Paul is going to be walking in like two bucks. He's going to be throwing hard at Nate. So 
even if he's winning shots, like we've seen it before, even against guys like Anderson, like he's going to throw one, one is going to land. Who knows? Maybe we see to get Nate, Nate get knocked out. Nate yeah. get knocked out. Yeah. That'd be I crazy, would, dude. I would mortgage. I would mortgage my home. <laughs> I'm not getting knocked out by Jake Paul. I think I'd cry. Yeah. For like, sure. Who was it? Josh Thompson was the only person to knock to get a TKO off of Nate Diaz. Yeah. I'd cry if he got knocked out crazy. by Jake Paul. Yeah. You gotta think he's double the weight as Nate, and like yeah. he's both of them just hold power. They're just big boys. And <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see Nate get knocked out, but Jesus Christ, man! <clears throat> yeah, it sucks because it's like he is old. Like seeing Nick Diaz's last fight against Robbie Lawler, he's like, damn, this motherfucker's old. Seeing Nate yeah. against Tony is like, god damn, these two guys are old. <laughs> yeah, is this um, a twelve year? No, I don't know. No, probably a seven, eight. I think, so. I, like a six. Eight, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's it, I guess. Uh, Jake versus <laughs> MMA retired MMA fighters part twelve, dude. <laughs> yeah. Where do you like? Okay, you want me to talk about where? Where does like? Uh, I don't know. Where does Jake Paul go? Like, does he continue boxing? Like, what is? What do you think Jake Paul's end goal is? Just to make a ton of money, or like, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, he's just that was the only reason. I think that's just like his whole character is to just take out dudes who are on their way out. Yeah, and still get that, get the views for it. You know, at what point is it getting old? Because we've seen like in these last few fights, like numbers are are slumping. You know what oh, I yeah. mean? At what point does he try something new? Does he transition to MMA? Does he? You know what I mean? He's like uh, technically part of PFL, right? He is like a uh, like a representative of yeah. like PFL. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just don't think he goes to MMA at all. Um yeah. and then like boxing wise, he's just banking on this whole MMA versus boxing who wins in a fight. Mm-hmm. So yeah. as long as people are retiring, he's the first man up. But it'll yeah. it it's getting old to me already. Um, I have no desire to watch Nate versus Jake. Um, I had no desire to watch any of his fights. Honestly, Ben Askren, yeah. Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, I so. hate watching Jake fights. I watch Jake fights with the uh, the Subway Surfers clip below him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But yeah, um, I think it's going to go on for a minute. Because, you know, the boxing community is kind of behind them, too. So it's like you can't just stop it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Jake Paul doing Jake Paul, man. That's how he gets his money. So, All right. Respect. All right. Well, happy uh, episode 75. We're going to do a fun little tier list that I saw on the internet. Um, I love the internet. I don't know how I'm going to do this. You guys, I probably just have to uh, not describe. You guys already know the animals, but you just can't see the tier list. So I'll break it down for you guys. Um, At the very bottom of the tier list, we have leaning towards defeat. Um, Does that make sense? Like they would beat me or I would beat them? Maybe we should just delete that. I don't know what that is. Uh, Okay. Leaning towards victory. You beat them. It's getting punted. Um, So these orders are weird, but it's getting punted. Um, Easy clap. Still an easy fight. Fair fight. You're you're taking some. A tough loss. And then the very last one is I'm getting my face torn off. (laughs) You're getting destroyed by this animal. Okay, so it's not really like a tier list. It's just where would you categorize them? So okay. leaning towards the feet, leaning towards victory, stuff like that. The number, the very first animal, a silverback gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear your thoughts, King, because you look like you're look, you look like you're thinking you can. <laughs> no, 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 no. Unless I catch him slipping, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If I catch him, <laughs> should we make some like like a year of training 
you have a year of training for this animal. <laughs> uh, I, could train, I could train my entire life, be reincarnated as the same. I could probably change for, train for the 900 years, and I probably would be the same for my gorilla. Bet, bet. Um, so we are putting this on. I'm getting my face torn off for sure. Fuck yeah. Dude. <laughs> Fuck how long you train. Don't give me no bear. Don't give me no Yeti. Don't give me no none of that. All right. A Yeti. <laughs> You're fucking Bigfoot, bro. Um, <laughs> hell no. Once that silver black, silver, the gorilla gets a hold of me, mm. it's going to rip my arm and I'm going to cry and I'm going to give up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Um. Okay. How about a bat? A bat? Is this leaning towards victory? Yeah. Just I'll a bat. A Just a bat, bro. I'm gonna a bat with rabies, that. probably. I'm gonna eat it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bite that off like Ozzy. <laughs> I bet you you cannot hit a bat. There is no. <laughs> you don't think I can hit a bat? Big ass wings. It's blind. If am I, just, I in a room with it? How, am, I, am I like outside in the in nature yeah, of this thing? thing, man? You are in their environment. A cave? Oh, okay. Is it a cave bet? You're in a cave. Yeah, you're in a cave. I'm in a cave. It's dark. I can't see. Yeah, dude. So oh my that's God. Really the, the advantage. The yeah, fuck? Of course. I was born in the dark. Because one of the things is a shark. So it's not like you can here. fight a shark on land. You have to fight the shark in the water. It's not Why? fair. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bat. <laughs> no, I'm not catching would, that I fucking would, thing. Would rip that bat's wings off. Okay. Well, we'll put it put an easy clap because it's true. Um, how about a grizzly bear? <sighs> Same shit. You've been after ten years of training, bro. <laughs> bro. All right, hear me out though. Hear me out though. A cub, like a little grizzly cub. Yeah. I would take this back, bro. I, How about 10 of them? 10? 10 little grizzly bear cubs. Mm, no, there's no, some there's, I'll I'll get you to death. Maybe two. Maybe I could take two. <laughs> okay, put yourself in Habib's shoes. You think Habib would say it's a fair fight or a tough L? Against 10 grizzly cubs? No, against one grizzly bear. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't think he believes in himself, the, the actual bear. <laughs> <laughs> video is photoshopped, bro. It's not even a beep in that video. <laughs> <That's> um, AI. <laughs> what about uh, a bee? Are you guys allergic to bees? No. I used to fuck bees up as a kid, bro. Dang. No. And I got stung by one. Because I, I used to like catch them like that. Mm. Once oh, I'm like a stung. Me. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <clears throat> yeah, I seen uh I seen B movie. As long as he doesn't, the B doesn't fuck my wife. I think I'm. <laughs> Was it the B movie on uh, Pornhub? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? on the B. What about? Is this a bison? <sighs> I feel like I would just be like, it probably, I probably couldn't even move it. Yeah, they were struggling to get. I would think I'm like a four hundred or something. It's going to be a struggle to even get behind that thing, first of all. They're like the size of cars, aren't they? I don't yeah. Oh, man. It's like the size of a... Like a forerunner? <laughs> they have horns, yeah. right? It's like a Prius. Yeah, it's yeah. like... Cool. Yeah, grab the horns like as a tie clinch and just ram knees into a face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've heard Red Dead. Yeah, I can fucking kill that thing. Dude. Damn. <laughs> Got it confident. So, what do you think? Fair fight, maybe? Tough fight. Tough fight. Yeah. Yeah. Tough L? Mm, or winning for the victory? Victory. Fair fight. Oh, fair fight. Look at victory. Okay. What did our ancestors do, bro? That's why we're here today. <laughs> <laughs> what about a cat? Those fuckers hurt, dude. And they're very fast, very reactive. <laughs> Um, that's an easy clap. I think I could beat uh, every cat in the world besides my mother-in-law's cat Mooch. Um, I'm a thirteen right now, but I will get my lick back. So every cat in the world you're defeating at once. 
Huh? No. No, oh. you're just saying like you could defeat every single cat. Yeah. Once you get a hold, you're just squeezing the fuck out of it. Yeah. You ever think about that with your with your animals, with your pets, where you're like, damn, if I just crush your skull, you're dead. Not like that. Rob's Ian, Ian has intrusive thoughts, bro. He's like, <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> damn, bro. Where's Oscar? I don't have thoughts like that. I have thoughts like, dude, I could easily just like kick the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, what about a cow? Very friendly. Um, the cow in this picture, no horns. Yeah, we're eating steaks, baby. Yeah, I just gotta, you just gotta worry about getting donkey kicked in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. You just slit its throat. You think you just hit him with a three-piece combo, and that's it? No, oh, you gotta be no. tough. It's gonna be tough, man. Yeah, I mean, kids but tip cows all the time, right? What's that? Cow tipping. Yeah, yeah. Tip the cow. Oh, oh. Hit it with a classic Hulk Hogan leg drop and decapitate yeah. it with my my hamstring. Okay, no, oh. yeah. dude. You gotta think of like if you're trying to punch the cow, it has it doesn't really have a punch ticket, dude. This is your this is their first punch. That's true. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill the fuck out of it. <laughs> Easy. Class. Easy yeah, class. easy, easy class. Um, what about a what's crocodile is the one with the shorter nose, and then alligator is the long nose. Yeah, what about a crocodile? Crocodile <laughs> to be fucking people up, ain't it? In the swamp. Damn, I have no weapons, huh? No, no, no that thing's gonna. That's a dinosaur, dude. That's gonna fucking annihilate me. That a uh, death roll, man. That yeah, that's gnarly. Man. I've seen enough eye bleach videos of like alligators and crocodiles like ripping, ripping dudes' arms off to know that I'm, yeah, I'm good on that. Well, well, you're you're know, right. What's up? You hear me out though, right? Like, if you are we <laughs> imagine I catch this mug on land, he crawls out because he can go on boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I catch this mug on land and I take his back, where's he gonna roll to? Little arms, little legs. What's he gonna do? Oh, dude, it's a seven foot. Long crocodile, bro. He got a breathe. Gonna death roll, and you're gonna take every single like. Does know. he know? Does he know back, back defense? Does he know the gentle art? Yeah. If you can gable grip his on his back, I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All he has I think to, in, in the end, how, though, I think, I think I lose. You know how fast an alligator is on land, too. It's not like they're slow. There's no way you're getting the back of a crocodile, bro. I literally just watched Gordon Ryan's back take video on BJJ Fanatics. I'm pretty sure I could take a crocodile. Worth the money. Shout That's out, funny. Gordon. Okay, so you think Gordon Ryan will annihilate a crocodile? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and commentate through the whole thing. I would pay. For, I, I, would, I, would rather pay I would rather pay to see Gordon Ryan versus a crocodile than any Jake Paul fight. Oh, yeah. For sure. We should have made this tier list as like, could Gordon Ryan take a silver <laughs> silverback gorilla or a grizzly bear? Damn, we fucked up. <laughs> Damn. So should I put it tough L for you, King? Or tough fair L? fight? No, that's a fair fight. Me and the Carpenter. Oh support. my god, that's crazy. That's a tough <laughs> L for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about a golden retriever puppy? Do you have the mental capacity to kill? A little puppy is what I think we should be talking about. God damn it! Why? <laughs> <laughs> is this just a, just cause? Somebody's like, <laughs> "What? Right, give me, I need to." They threw it in here, man. Unfortunately, is my life on the line? Is it like kill or be killed or what? Look, did someone ask us this shit? I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not just going to kill this puppy just to, yeah. just to kill this puppy. Yeah, that's true. We'll skip that one. <laughs> um, no, honestly, if I had to, I just beat it like a Nestle Crunch or something. You'd beat it? No, I'd feed it chocolate, bro. Just give it a little chocolate. Oh, feed it. Easy dub. Damn, a slow kill? That's fucked up. Come on, bro. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) All right. What about a bald eagle? 
Those fuckers are scary, bro. They're huge. They're scary. They're big. What's that? How big is a bald eagle for reference? So a bald eagle's wingspan. I don't really need numbers. Can you just stand up and spread your... <laughs> I'm not tall enough, bro. It's six feet to seven and a half feet long. The wingspan. I'm fighting. I'm fighting John Jones with wings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. But they're start. only around yeah. 14 pounds. Hmm? No, that's an easy dub. That's an easy clap. <laughs> I think it'd be the ball eagle. I'd never let anybody ball beat my ass. <laughs> um <laughs> oh okay but you know how with their grips you can't break it open so they're yeah. picking you up they're taking you to a high place and then they're dro- they're dropping you you know have you ever seen eagles when they like grab like small dogs and like cats and stuff yeah it's wild exactly you cannot break that grip dude i've seen videos um, like Something I said, more. maybe not you guys. You guys are pretty dense, but for me, it's like I'm like ninety percent body fat. I think they can carry me and drop me. You know? No way! No way! <sighs> so, dude, they What's can the- pick up like fucking goats, dude. Goats? They eat goats. Mountain goats. See, Gordon Ryan is the goat. <laughs> I didn't know they eat goats, bro. Yeah, like, easy clap for the bald eagle. That's an easy clap. I'm, I'm gonna let it take me to the fucking nest, dude. Kill the babies. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it where the fuck it just made its home. Okay, <laughs> true. I like that. Um, an elephant. No, that's a that's an easy L. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my face torn off. I'm trying to think um, of any way. Kill an elephant. That's tough, bro. That is tough. What do I even do? What could you even do? You can't. Unless you have like a knife to like slice its little, you know, his legs. You can't do anything. Oh, else. yeah. Like a, what are they called? AT-ATs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been around with a rope. Yeah, I don't, think I, could, I don't think I could beat an elephant. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty bad. Um, What about a fly? Can you catch a fly? Have you guys ever caught a fly? Bare hands? Yeah. Yeah, I've caught. Yeah. I usually uh, start my morning by catching at least 10 with a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, a frog. That's easy. I'd eat that shit for breakfast. Yeah, I've done it before. I could do it again. Exactly. <clears throat> this one's a good one. A giraffe. Ooh. I feel like giraffe, Ooh. like... No. If you break it down, like... Elden Ring boss style where like you learn its movements and you just have to make sure that you get inside unscathed. Just I'm fat rolling this giraffe's neck sweep so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it might be a tough L but might be a fair fight you know I think if I sprinted full speed into a giraffe's skinny ass legs I'm folding them I'm folding them up easy he's <laughs> folding easy I think that's a tough L, dude. I'm gonna try to fight it and try to trip it. It's not gonna work, and that's gonna it's gonna just swing its head at me, and I'm gonna get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, I would say part of me wants to say tough L because you see those videos of like like lion prides hunting like giraffes, and there's like three or four like lions like hanging off of this giraffe. Yeah, I don't know. And you see a lion just go flying and (laughs) (laughs) it's so crazy. But I mean, like. To bring it back, are lions as good as Gordon Ryan? Mm. Like that's a long neck, dude. I think Gordon yeah. Ryan can take its neck. Yeah, Gordon Ryan. Uh, yeah, you can't get him. Probably stronger than any lion. Exactly. Probably on enough supplements to uh, to to choke out a giraffe. Honestly, yeah, I yeah. think so. I don't think. Like, what's up? Isn't there, uh, I think giraffes had like. Two streams of blood, though, going through their neck because it's so long. Oh, damn! So you have to, you have to get both. Pretty sure. Yeah. And plus, the <laughs> could be wrong. The base of the neck is real girthy, you know what I mean? So you gotta get towards the top. Huh? Yeah. The top of the neck. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, you know whose neck was girthy? Galvao. So <laughs> <laughs> look how that went, bro. All right. So um, for now, we, we'll put it tough L. Um, I do like King's uh, confidence and just full speed. He can get the legs. I like that. Um, okay. What about a satanic goat? Satanic goat? Yeah. This one, different has horns. Is this, mother- is oh. he this one has probably the powers of the devil. So the devil. What? <laughs> so I'm fighting the devil? Am I an Avenger? <laughs> what the fuck what is this? In the, in the form of a goat. I thought this was animals. You got me fighting. I don't know. This one has horns. You know what? I'll just put this at fair fight. Um... Because, okay, maybe it's not satanic. you seen The Witch. I watched part of it. I didn't finish it. Well, I'm not going to ruin that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Tough, tough L. It's tough L. Thank you for not spoiling The Witch for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you mother. <laughs> um, hippopotamus. Oh my god! I think I'm more scared of a hippopotamus than like an elephant. Yeah, and you're what? We're fighting it in its environment. Yeah. No, nah, there's no way. Yeah. Hippopotamus. That's heavy, bro. My fucking bulldog's heavy. You think? <laughs> there's just some animals. Like, what are you gonna do? Like a hippopotamus. I've seen yeah. hippopotamus like full like like pumpkins and like watermelons. If you yeah, get, say like it will just bite you in half. It's so easy for them to eat those things. Mm-hmm. And then what am I gonna do to it? You know what I mean? To right. Open its eyes, like. Yeah, that's like their only option in all of these fights. Yeah. And not only that, it's like you can't even get an arm around a hippo neck. You know, mm-hmm. impossible. Yeah. I don't think Gordon Ryan can take this. And they're honestly. they're slippery, bro. There's no USADA. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> bro. <laughs> no USADA. And imagine, <laughs> like, I guarantee you, right before. You can make contact. The hippo's flinging its shit at you with its tail. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you try to get us back. It's not gonna happen, bro. Unless you want shit on your face. That's a that's a very. I'm getting my face torn off. I'm scared of hippos. Yeah, <clears throat> it's gonna snap us in half. Um. What about a horse? A stallion. A stallion. Like a three quarter horse, four quarter horse. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I don't know either. I heard a horse person say it one time, so <laughs> thought it sounded good. <laughs> um, a horse. I don't know, dude. I've seen you ever watch like rodeos where dudes just get bucked in half. Like there's, just- mm-hmm. yeah, spooky. That's a that's a death punch too, right? Yeah. Um, I mean. You gotta worry about even catching the fucking thing. You know, we've all played oh, yeah. Zelda here. We've all played <laughs> Zelda. You don't get it the first time, you can't fucking catch it anymore. Well, let's talk about once you get it, you got you gotta put up with the death punch and you gotta put up with it with its it's literally just all muscle, bro. What yeah. the fuck do you do with that? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy that um remember when Cheetah was like, Dude, I've rode horses. You're you're a lot. Harder than horses in Ganu. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's true, bro. It's like, nah. That's a. You think you're getting your face torn off, though? Is it that bad of a defeat? If it catches me, bro. Hoof to face. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. That's yeah. True. I think you just get beat to death. Shot yeah. to the head. Stomped out. Oh, yeah. A horse would stomp me out, I think. Um, We'll save this one for last. Uh, We'll do a few more. A Has anyone tried to like attack a horse from the front, though? You know what I mean. I don't know. They probably just run. Never mind. I think they're, just, they're fast. Yeah, kangaroo. Kangaroos <laughs> no jujitsu, bro. Have you seen those videos? Yeah, I heard a kangaroo trained Volk since he was a baby. Those are the real parents. Damn, is that the theory? Yeah. <laughs> the Reddit, Where is yeah. a kangaroo, Craig Jones? <laughs> Dude. A kangaroo. I seen that one guy punch a kangaroo for his dog, but mm. I watched uh, what is that movie? Kangaroo Jack. Yeah. Good day in the USA. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think so. 
Kangaroo would probably beat my ass. It's a lot of upper body strength. Tail. Hard to get around that. You got to defend the kicks too, bro. It's not just sponges, it's kicks. Yeah. yeah. You ever seen them stand up on its tail? It's yeah, like, oh, dude. Yeah, dude. And they got some good clinch game going on. They do. So. I think you just got to get its back again, man. Maybe get a body triangle if you can get that through. Mm-hmm. And then imagine you get the kangaroo to half health and it spawns little kangaroos out of its pouch. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> like Elden Ring, yeah. Exactly. Worst case scenario. about that one. <laughs> um, yeah, man. I don't know. Just knowing that the kangaroo knows Brazilian jiu-jitsu from birth is kind of scary. And I just don't think you're going to get the back of a kangaroo. The balance is just too good. You know, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say I'm getting my face torn off. Being honest, same, same. Because they're fucking beefed up, dude. Um, I fell. What about a little spider monkey? This one is this one is good because they got monkey strength. Spider monkey, yeah. The more you know, skinny monkey, pet monkeys that people, yeah, have. yeah. Um, I mean, there have been stories of people's face getting ripped off yeah, by those two. That's an uh, asshole. I'm getting my face torn off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I it's fucking ass. Yeah. Yeah. I think so? Spider monkey? Yeah. I Are you just grabbing its arms? That's yeah. I no, I'd, <laughs> I'd punch it. We could come out. A fair fight and everything. I'd announce myself. We'd both do our walkouts. Um, I'd square up with it. I'd mm-hmm. knock it out. Probably second round at the latest. You think so, bro? Yeah, easily. I feel like this is the whole like um thing about Chucky. It's like I just punch Chucky, bro. It's just a doll. But then it's like, is it just a doll? Is it? Am I in a jungle monkey? fighting the spider monkey? Are you what? Am I in a jungle? Like, can he like swing from trees? Yeah, and stuff? dude, you're in their environment. Well, it sucks for him. I'd, I'd, I'd still yank him down off a tree. It's easy work. <laughs> it's easy work, honestly. Um, we'll meet in the middle then. I'll go. Uh, tough L. Tough L on that one. An octopus. Oh, I mean, how big is this thing? Um. Let's see how big an octopus is. Kraken sized <laughs> octopus. A kraken is technically not an octopus. That would be a squid. We're talking so, about a. Are we talking about a mythological animal? No. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, giant octopus. a full-grown gigantic or a full-grown <laughs> giant Pacific octopus can weigh more than fifty pounds. I think it's ring. Yeah. Oh wait, that's the that's the heaviest. You think you could take a fifty pound octopus with all its tentacles and the beak in water? In water. Okay, let's say you have scuba gear. So you that's get even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to make sure you got your breathing right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll fucking kill that thing. Yeah. Shove my hand through his fucking mouth. Yeah. Wow. Think about it. Octopus have killed people on land from trying to eat them, right? <laughs> like when they're still alive, like they just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's no way. Interesting. Another baby, like babies. God. I think a I need your guys' confidence. Ah, oh, it's gonna. That's a. That's tough, man. I think I'd be overwhelmed by the. Because I'm Japanese too. Right? Yeah, I'm Japanese, so. Oh, shit. Godzilla and fucking octopuses, bro. What is it? I'm <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Go ahead, we'll see. Fair fight, octopus. <laughs> um, okay, let's do two more. Uh, <laughs> a wolf. Wolf? Just one? Just one. No. No. I could kill one wolf. No, nope. that shit's ripping me apart. Mm-hmm. One wolf? If Liam Neeson's can kill one wolf, <laughs> or a pack of wolves, I can kill one wolf. Oh, fucking God. Oh, I man. think so. Oh, yeah. 
for sure. Dude, they're jumping right at you and just. And I'm. It has to worry about me too. I'm jumping right at it. <laughs> what you mean? It's jumping right at me. That thing is huge, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the size of like a um. Where are those dogs? A Great Dane, bro. They're huge. Has the wolf ever encountered a flying knee before? No. <laughs> Something brand new. Something brand new. <laughs> brand new. Um. Okay, dude. Uh, fair fight for the wolf. Um, and last one for whatever reason, this person decided to put in Idris Elba. So, would you take on a human Idris Elba? Uh, Elba. No, I could kick my ass. Really, you think you could fight a wolf and an alligator or a crocodile, but you think Idris will kick your ass? You didn't see Idris Elba in Suicide Squad, bro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Who was he again? Uh, Not Suicide Squad. He was in the other one. Fast and Furious. Fast He's and Furious. In Suicide Squad. He takes over uh, Will Smith's role as the. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Of. That shot. That shot. In a hand-to-hand fight, MMA rules. You think you could beat Idris? I think you'd beat Idris. You think I could beat Idris? Yeah. Hmm. I think you know more than him. Depends, bro. Has Idris ever caught a flying knee to the face? I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe you're right. Hey, that's a good uh that's a good one for the next one, bro. Celebrities we think we could beat in a fight, bro. I like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Line that See, up for bro. next time. Tom Hardy's gonna be the hard one, bro. That's a tough one. Uh, yeah, bro, fight. The Loki Jujutsu guys, bro, like fighting like Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Probably roll me up, Loki. That's what I'm saying. And these See, guys are down the street from me at Non Jacques, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the end of today's video. Um, thank you all for watching. Let's end it with our song suggestion. What do you guys got? What do you guys got for me? I go ahead. <laughs> I got Big by Jair Woods. Open Fire by Tupac. Oh. Um, do for Love by Tupac. Who? Nobody told me it's Tupac Day. I would have Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Peace. Later.